Yeah. Yeah, you shaking like you shaking like a snitch in the mall party. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're moving out of the office back home, but the house has tons of space. Bless up. Bless up, mofos. Bless up. <laughs> It is Saturday morning. I look toe up from the flow up, so don't mind that. Also, this is dirty. Grabbing a croissant and a coffee this morning because I have not had a croissant and coffee in quite some time. And I really enjoy just a croissant and coffee. Very Parisian of me. But since I've been working out, I stopped eating croissants and I don't, I don't wanna stop is the thing. So. That's what we're doing here now. I am going to hook you up to the car because I am in the car. When I say I just woke up, I mean, the reason why I even woke up is because London came over to me and started screaming in my face. She comes over and was like, guys, I had a dream. And when I was dreaming, um, I thought that today was Friday. So I woke up and was like, oh, we're gonna be late for school. But then it's Saturday. I was like, it's 6.50 in the morning. Like, beat it. I need you to go back into your room and go back to sleep. Anyways, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Like, imagine somebody just screaming in your face. Anyways, this bakery opens at 7, so I just got up and, like, threw on anything I can find that was, like, remotely clean. <laughs> and brought myself over here. I'm gonna go grab the kids some donuts. They have, like, this tofu cream cheese that my husband can't stop talking about. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna relax for a little bit because I have to go to the gym at um, 10 o'clock. And then I am driving to Connecticut. I'm taking London to uh, Connecticut to a friend of mine. Her, um, She's having a birthday party for her daughter. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then uh, just take it easy. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. But happy Saturday. I wanted to do some more chatty vlogs. Um, and that's about it. Deuces. All right, next stop is Bagel Store. Let's grab some bagels, guys. Oh, he's not good here. That's online? No. Thanks. I have to walk in the street this morning because the construction in this neighborhood. I hate to sound like an old person, but I'm getting a little bit cranky about the construction. It, it, it literally is so, I'm in the street. It's so bad here. Anyway, off to go work out. Um, hopefully I find a place so we can kind of move out of this neighborhood. Am I allowed to go this way? Street. Cautiously. Cautiously. All right, I'm allowed to go this way. 
cautiously. I'll go, I'll go around. I'll go around. Thanks. There you go. Do it again. Do it again. Let me kick that back. Ah, oh, that's what I want. Beautiful. Do it again. Come on. There you go. Yeah, your arms. Look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Hard work and dedication. Hard work and dedication. The struggle is real. She came in here couldn't do nothing. I'm gonna do anything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the blooper. Get back on there. It's too much. Use that, use that as your, use that. Come on, get up there. There you go. Sit yourself down and go to work. Stay with it. Yeah. Yeah, you shaking like, you shaking like a snitch in the mall party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you shaking like a, come on. Have fun. You, Keep it still, son. Work. Stay in control. Stay in control. Keep those abs tight. You pull it back. Don't pull back. Stay with it. Where you going? Where you going? Five. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. You can do it, guys. Yeah. Where you going? Where you going? It's hard. It's not. Where you going? Stay in the middle. You're moving it too much. Stay in the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Ah, yeah. There you go. Ah. There you go. It's just not for everybody. Oh! And he's a boxer, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, D. Not you to get down. You need to bend down more. Let's go. 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 Everybody feels like they can do this now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I love how we did this exercise. Not everybody feels like they can do it. Go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go. cutest thing I've ever seen. This is like literally the ultimate mermaid party. Look at this cake. Hardware outlet in Industry City in Brooklyn, and um, I'm gonna see if they have anything that we can put in the new house. I don't even know if we got this house yet. I won't find out until tomorrow, but I feel like I have good vibes about it, so I wanted to come anyway. So let's see what we can find here. I am in Restoration Hardware, and I have to tell you guys, the pricing in here is really good. So everything here is 40% off of the sticker price. So for example, uh, let's look at these chairs. All right, so we have the outlet price of 291 and then 40% off of 291 for these beautiful stools. Not bad, not bad. And this is restoration hardware that is in Industry City. 
kind of looking at this herringbone table uh, as an outdoor table. Not a bad price. I love this table, but this would not fit in the room. Lots of round tables, and I'm really into these chairs. My kids would destroy that though. This is cute too. Can we sell them stuff? <laughs> Yeah, can we trade? Hmm. I didn't see this earlier. What is this? chair. And I really like this couch. However, this price is terrible. <laughs> Lots of white here. These people don't have children. All right, the fact that this place is called Industry City and they took all of these old, um, I, I can't say they're old lofts, but they just completely transformed this whole area. Anyway, so there is this vegan restaurant that we just found. Um, it's kind of like a, a take on fast food. It is called Brooklyn P Pickle Shack. And we just got a veggie burger, um, some vegan, uh, mac and cheese with mushroom bacon, a green bowl, and a kombucha. So come on in. I really want to try these sauces. These are like their take on mayo almost. So into this. I'm a sucker for like sauces and stuff. What did you get? This is phenomenal. They're ginger beer. Ginger beer. Can you help me open it? It's not too sweet. It's so good. Huh. That's really good. It is good. I'm not a ginger girl. This is my kombucha. It's kombucha of the day. Can you help me open that? Kombucha is amazing. See these cheddar biscuits? It's good. It's kind of peachy. It's amazing. Dark chocolate sea salt cookies. So is the coconut bacon made out of mushrooms? No. Or is it? Oh, okay, no, sorry. No, I just thought it was like mushrooms with coconut. Forget it, forget it. So sorry. Don't judge me. Cheese with Correction, I thought that the bacon was made of mushroom, but it's actually coconut. Green bowl. Excuse me, ma'am. Is that oh, good? Bro. Is it made out of cashews? <laughs> Can you just tell me your secret? <laughs> Can you tell me the secret recipe? No, it's made out of coconut. Lots of love. And then this is the burger. I don't know what the burger is made out of. Looks delish though. Oh, I should have said no tomato. I think it's bacon. I mean, uh, not bacon. Beef. Mm. Burger is bomb.
hubby and I just found some Japanese restaurant, I mean, uh, market, and you know, the kids eat sushi, so I'm, I'm getting some uh, seaweed, and this place is really cool. Scout the city. I'm gonna get this nori snack. So much nori. Shiitake mushrooms. Oh, look, those little tiny fish. Oh, here we go, baby sushi rice. Baby, it's over here too. Oh, Thanks. oh you got some? We might as well just get this big. Let's try this. Let's try this one. Here. Yeah. There's this. There's this one. Let's try this. And What's then this if we like it, then we'll get the big one. Alright. We want the white, right? Yeah. It's right here. Yeah, look at all the sushi rice. I mean, I'm obsessed with this market. My husband is in a rush, so I did not get any matcha. However, I got seaweed, beer, and uh, something else. Thank you, darling. Cute Japanese market. Oh, pull. That was a fun adventure. Scouting Industry City. Never know what you might find. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. I got a new house! I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm happy we're moving out of this place. Unfortunately, we're moving out of the office back home, but the house has tons of space. Bless up. Bless up, mofos, bless up. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, Thursday morning, and I am on my way to the Polo Ralph Lauren breakfast. I am extremely late. Um, I'm supposed to be there at nine. It is almost nine now. Sorry, the sun is in my face, but... Um, so let's see, I feel like there's so much to catch up on. I got the apartment, I'm very excited about it. Um, I wanted to show you around the space yesterday, but unfortunately the broker had an emergency and she couldn't really show us the house. Um, so I'm going to try and go tomorrow because I also need to get measurements and everything and at least order a few things that are essential. Like I want to make sure the first floor is completely um, ready for move in as well as the kids rooms and I would also like to have our new bed and then from there because the house is the house is actually pretty massive it sounds even weird for me to say that but I need to take room by room little by little especially like blinds and things like that but for the most part as long as we have food in the fridge and the first floor is done and ready for move in um, we'll be fine with that we have about a month until we move in maybe possibly a little bit more but I'm beyond excited um, yeah, it's just such a huge accomplishment, but I'm gonna go into that a little bit later. But right now, it's all about the Ralph Lauren breakfast, so let's head there. Right, we're just getting to the west side, which is now carrying Polo Ralph Lauren, and they're doing monogramming on tie-dye shirts. Let me show you some of my favorite pieces from the collection. Look how old school this is. This is really cute. Loving the way they belted this. Right? Here we go. Oh, what are these jeans? Uh oh, another pair of jeans for me, guys. And then this with the tie dye. Hoodie. 
Oh my god, there's so much cute stuff in here. I've never been here before. This place is adorable. So much cute stuff. Whoa. Look at this. This is like my dream over here. I want to come in here and clear this place out. So good. Who makes this? Oh, it's Love Shack. Yeah, she's bizarre. Outfit number two. Outfit number two, same day as the Polo Ralph Lauren event. We are here at the Neiman Marcus Hudson Yards opening. This place is insane. Not only is it insane, but it's classy. Class, class, class. All the blogger babes are here. Girls do support girls. Oh my god, guys, this is crazy. I gotta show you around. Hi! This place is amazing. Street over there. So there's a street um, right there. That's 34th, I think. Oh, well, then you want to walk to the street over so here? What street is that? I think that's 34th and So we can walk up to town. Okay. All right, that's it. Early bird special. Seven o'clock, and the party is cracking in there, but we're leaving. That coat is so cute. Very they do. Oh they my god. Are you doing their kids? Mommy and me campaign. Oh, they're doing kids. kids. Oh, Everybody's doing kids. I love it. I love it. We said 34th and 10th. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think this is 33rd. Or 30 seconds. I don't know what that is. All right. Done, done, and done. I need to put my sneakers on. Wendia, I am here this morning with Dr. Barbara Sturm. And look how many beautiful places are here so much diversity in one room which is fantastic for a change but we are talking about women of color and their skin and very excited to be here especially because i am a big fan of the product i've showed you guys some of these products before but when i get home i'll show you some of my favorites um including like the glow drops I'm pretty much familiar with, with my products and um you're already loving some of them I know you always have to try different ones and you never you're never tired of getting new additions to your skincare routine. But um, maybe we talk a little bit about what um, the the special aspects of this line are and you know why it's good to maybe do certain things to your skin, why it's also good to be nice to your skin and not very aggressive. Like the worst. You're like, no! Yeah. <laughs> it's powders you can't I was on a trip. Um, oh my god, I could cry. So I was on a trip and I had the travel sizes with me and my hyaluronic serum spilled. I was literally on the floor. <laughs> and then it was just like, okay, you know, but 
let it yeah, go. That, that, was, was, that, was, that was a hard one to live with. I would just say, we put it to my friend. I yeah. Like, I was just like, oh my God. But that was a hard one to live with. Here are some of the products I currently use. The, the skin food, which are supplements. I would love to try the repair anti-pollution. Um, I have not tried the sleep food. I have no issues with sleeping. I'm almost a narcoleptic. Uh, but I will try it. recommend super anti-aging the anti-pollution and the glow drops I'm very excited about trying these um, the sun drop SPF highly recommend face mask face scrub I just started using the primer oh and these hyaluronic ampules are amazing very, very good chat this morning. This was fantastic. I wanted to show you guys uh, more of these darker skin tone products that Dr. Sturm just came out with. Um, I currently use some of these. I have not tried the darker skin tone face cream. I use her regular face cream, which is amazing. So I'm sure this is even better. Um, she's really into hydration, which is a huge thing for me because I have alligator skin and I'm always very, very dry. Um, oh, also this, I just opened this, is amazing. Sun Drops SPF 50. I put this right over my moisturizer when I'm done. Um, let's see. Uh, the enzyme clean uh, cleanser, <clears throat> excuse me, I currently use too. This I highly recommend two to three times a week. Uh, but again, it, it depends on what type of skin you have because I know some people who use it every day. And then also the hyaluronic serum. This leaves your skin super supple, hydrated. I've used this into the ground to the point that I don't have any more. Um, foam cleanser is good. Also highly recommend the glow drops. They just give you this glow. You can put it on after your entire routine. All right, running around like crazy, getting ready to go back to Neiman Marcus. I changed my outfit. Had to put on sneakers really quick because I am riding the iron horse to where I gotta go. Um, but I'll see you guys when I get to Neiman Marcus. And I am back at Hudson Yards. It's not, I mean, it's pretty crowded, I gotta tell you. Look at this. Especially because you can walk up here, which is kind of freaky. But I'm at the shops in Neiman, I'm um, going to Neiman Marcus, but this place has everything like Cartier, Rolex, Christian Dior, Van Cleef, Fendi. Do we see Fendi? Down in the Zodiac room tonight at Neiman Marcus. Shop, have drinks, eat, and then shop again. to be here just because one I'm starving as usual and two this is nice look at this view <laughs> Jessica's not eating her pop over so she doesn't eat it I'm gonna eat it so I said I was gonna keep you guys tuned in I wanted to give you like a sneak peek of what it looked like today, but unfortunately we weren't able to go in today. Contractors are still working, but it is happening very quickly because we are moving next month. Um, but I do have some footage in my phone from last time I was there. So I was gonna walk you through one of my favorite areas so far. Look at our new house. This is my closet, soon to be closet. And then the closet goes right into the master bedroom. I mean, master bathroom. 
Boom. Check this out. So much natural light. I'm so excited about all the natural light. This whole floor is their master. And then the kids are up on the next floor. Also have a terrace in our room. 